TTQ, make sure y'all like, comment, and hit the subscribe notification for me. And it's about a matter of all the TTQ, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Play TTQ, make sure you like and subscribe. Oh, TTQ, make sure you like and subscribe. I love TTQ. TTQ, we coming Yo, TTQ Nation! Hey man, we back with another man, reaction, another video, reaction man. video, man. Y'all seen the like the first one, man. So we gonna give y'all another one. No lie, man. Everybody, meet Bella. You know what I'm saying, the doll, man. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. But we gonna be writing to MSA. You know what I'm saying. I I, I ran away from home. St started selling matches on the street. You know what I'm saying. Hey, would you want to get straight to it? Oh. Make sure y'all like, like, comment, comment and, and subscribe. subscribe. No count. The females at the start of the video told y'all that, fool. So man, I don't know why you hey, did it. Hey, TGQ, make sure y'all don't see it. Y'all better just do that, man. But let's get into the video, dog. No count. Hi, I'm Estella, which means star. Isn't that cool? Also, I'm the oldest MSA girl here because my story happened in the 70s. But trust me, it's interesting enough and you'll learn a thing or two about home. So please like and subscribe. My life was not exactly good. We could only eat once a day and our house was falling apart, just like my family. Our dad was always angry and we were very poor, but there was a time where everything was fine. Back when my brother Lucio and I were little, dad was a good dad and mom was there. They were the most loving parents in the whole world. They always played with us in the park and bought us toys. We weren't rich, but our family was happy. Until one day... I got fired. They scammed me. What? They scammed me. We lost everything. He never told us who scammed him. We tried to ask him how we could help, but he just ignored us and sold our toys and mom's jewelry. However, things to sell ran out, and dad didn't know what to do anymore. Maybe we can work. Selling things or, I don't know, nah, something. You, yeah, dad. <laughs> we can sell matches or... No. What? Why? You can't leave school to go to work. But... I said no. We will put you in a public school and your mom and I will see what we can do. So go study or something. We fought with dad many times, but he wouldn't let us work, so we gave up. At least mom was still there, right? Mom, what are you doing? Lucio and I had woken up in the middle of the night and found mom cleaning the house like crazy. Oh, I'm just cleaning the house, darling. At 3 a.m.? Mom, I know you like cleaning, but... Suddenly, she ran to us and hugged us. Promise me you'll help your dad. Promise me you'll shine brighter than any star in the sky. What? Are you okay, Mom? Yeah, what's going on? Just promise me that, can you? We, we promise. promise. Next morning, Mom left. The house was completely clean, and all her clothes were gone. We looked for her everywhere, even asked the neighbors, but no one had seen her. It was the worst day of our lives. We cried a lot, and Dad wasn't the same after that. He got angry. He was angry every day, so we tried not to bother him. We started to work after school, and Dad tried to stop us. But after a while, he just made us promise that we wouldn't drop out of school. And we didn't talk about Mom, but we always hoped that someday she'd come back. Dad worked cleaning shoes, and Lucio and I sold matches. We walked through the neighborhoods after school, and at the end of the day, we met at the grocery store to see if we could buy any food. We didn't earn much, but we managed to save for one or sometimes two meals a day, and that was a win for us. Our lives weren't the best, but we tried to be positive. You won't believe how much I... Okay. Hey, what happened? Like Are you okay? I didn't sell any matches today. I went to hug him and tell him that everything is going to be okay, and without him noticing, I dropped a $1 bill behind him. Don't worry, Lucio. I'm sure tomorrow you'll sell a lot of matches. I hope so. Wait, what's that? Look, Estella, one dollar. Today must be her lucky day or something, because I have three dollars right here. You know what that means? Hot, hot dogs. dogs. We bought two hot dogs, and then we sat on a street corner to eat them. We haven't had a hot dog in almost a year, and it was delicious. But our happiness didn't last long. Hey, kids, can't you give a bite of that? What? No, go away. There's nothing yours here. Didn't hey, your kids, parents man, teach you not your to be selfish? Show, it's none of your business. Suddenly, the guy ripped the hot dog out of my hands and ran away while laughing. I tried to follow him, but he was running too fast, That's and it started to rain. So I went back to Lucio. At least you still have your... Oh, Lucio's hot dog was on the floor. Well, our lucky day ended. Fudge! 
Sorry, Estella. I always ruin everything. That's not true. The one who ruined everything was that freak who stole my hot dog and threw yours on the floor. But... No, no, don't even worry. We'll buy hundreds of hot dogs one day, okay? Let's go home for now. Our dad came back from work that night, and he was angry. It sure didn't go well. And when he found out we wasted the money, he got super annoyed and locked himself in the bedroom. Everything seemed to go from bad to worse. Until one day, things began to change. I was walking around the upper class neighborhood selling my matches. But that day, the cold was horrible. So, I came up with the best idea of all. I walked into the huge garage of a house. There were hundreds of cars, and it was super... Gotta press play, bro. Stomach. Warm, but oh no, there were people coming. Yeah, all my parents' cars are the latest model. My favorite one is, what the fudge? A girl caught me hiding among the cars, and her expression was really scary. What happened? Is the car okay? Yeah, uh, I thought I saw a rat. Come on, we better go to the pool. I was saved. After a while, I made sure there was no one there and went out quietly. But the girl from before was looking at me from the garage entrance. Who are you? What were you doing? Were you trying to steal one of our cars? No, no, I, I can explain. It was really cold out there, and your garage looked like a very warm place. So I went there. That's all, I swear. Suddenly, her expression changed. She looked less intimidating. Oh, I see. Well, you can warm yourself in the fireplace at my house. It's better, trust me. Come on. Really? Thank you so much. Yeah, but don't steal anything. <laughs> By the way, what's your name? Estella. Nice to meet you, Estella. I'm Cielo. Her name meant sky in Spanish, and something about that made me smile. She gave me a tour of her house, and it was like a mansion and so warm. But I knew I couldn't stay that long. I should get going. I, you know, Mom always said we need a cleaner. Do you happen to know anyone who needs a job? What? Are you serious? Do you know someone? Well, me. Cielo smiled and gave me her hand. You're hired. Come in every day after two, okay? Cielo's mom didn't like me, but she gave me a chance, and the pay was amazing. Though the best part of it all was that I got a friend. Every day after I cleaned up, Cielo and I would watch movies or gossip about my classmates or her weird neighbors. It was really fun. However, one day, when I was going to her house, I saw her fighting with her mom. You should be inside studying, not wasting time here. The cleaning girl is distracting you from your duty. Cielo. Oh, she's not doing anything, Mom. I got perfect grades in everything. I was just trying to rest a little on weekends. Well, if you're not in your room in five minutes studying, that girl will be fired. When her mom left, I walked up to her. I hugged her tightly, and she cried a little. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'll be here whenever you need me. Since that day, we became best friends. But her mom fired me after a month, and I got back to selling matches. However, Cielo was always sneaking off to talk to me, so I didn't get that sad. And even Lucio met her. He didn't like her that much, but that was because he was so grumpy. For the first time, and because of Cielo, my life didn't feel so bad. One day, I even told her a little about our life. Oh, you've been through a lot, Estella. I feel so guilty that my mom fired you. I'm really sorry. It was my fault, after all. All I did was gossip with you, don't you remember? <laughs> and... Don't you ever think of running away? Yeah, of course, but we don't have enough money to do it. And what if I tell you that I can help you? No, never. I won't accept any money. No, no. I want to escape from my parents too, but I don't want to do it alone. So... I was thinking of telling you that? and Lucio about it. We can run away together and be free. What do you think? Are you really sure, Cielo? I've never been so sure of anything in my life. However, when I told Lucio, he wasn't as sure as Cielo. I don't know, Estella. We could get into trouble. Lucio, this is our only chance to do it. If Mom could do it, run away, then we can. We also deserve a good life, away from Dad. Well, we'd have to be extremely careful. After that, our plan started. We raised as much money as we could with Cielo's help. And some weeks later, I went to the train station and bought train tickets to Sweden to leave in two days. Sweden? That's where? 
Yeah, I hope she's still there. Okay, here I feel like a dog at a chess game. What are you talking about? <sighs> My mom. I told you about her, didn't I? Well, sometimes she sends us postcards from Sweden and... You want to go find her? Yeah, but we don't know if she wants to be found. If she sends you those postcards, it must be for a reason, isn't it? Lucio and I smiled at Cielo. She was a really good friend. The day came, and Lucio and I told Dad we were going to work, while Cielo told her mom that she was going to the mall. We only carried a small backpack with some clothes, so nobody suspected anything. We met at the train station, and Cielo looked at me and gave me a weak smile. When the train was arriving, Lucio grabbed my hand. Cielo! What do you think you're doing? A woman ran to us and grabbed Cielo's arm tightly. Do you think you could just run away from home like that? What's going on with you? You and Dad are always fighting. And you only talk to me to tell me to study. You guys never really pay attention to me. Who put those ideas in your head? Was it her? I knew she'd be a problem. Police! Police! <gasps> Leave them alone! They didn't do anything! Run, guys! A policeman approached Cielo's mom, and before he could notice us, Lucio pulled my hand and we ran out of the train station. We hid behind a dumpster and saw the policeman running in front of it. After being there for a while, I started to cry again. Shh! Come here! Listen, we can fix it. We still have some savings from your last job. We can... No. What? Why? We can't do it without Cielo. We can't leave her behind. You're right. The same day when we arrived home, we lost all hope of escape. Dad found all our savings and was upset that we hid it from him. So he kept it somewhere else and said it would only be for food. But then winter came and I didn't have any winter clothes. You should wear the jacket, Estella. I can stand the cold. I'm like an ice man. Yeah, sure. Oh, come on, lighten up. Today we will sell a lot and eat hot dogs. What do you say? I don't know. It's fine. I've had enough. You have to stop this. Cielo is fine in her nice little mansion eating whatever she wants. Stop worrying about her. She's not well, Lucio. You know it. She's better off than we are. We didn't talk for the rest of the week. And then I got sick on New Year's Eve, and Lucio was the one who always took care of me. But I knew he was very upset, so I didn't tell him anything. I hadn't eaten all day, and the cold was getting to me. So I sat on the corner between two houses and looked at the matches in my hands. I hadn't sold a single one, and I didn't want to go home with nothing. I looked into the window of a house and saw a family eating roast goose. My stomach roared, and I remembered Lucio. I hope he can forgive me. I rubbed a match against the wall, and its fire warmed my hands a little, but it was quickly extinguished. I did it again and saw Cielo through the small flame. Cielo? But she disappeared as soon as the flame went out. So I did it again, but this time, I saw Mom. Mom, don't go. Please, I miss you. She disappeared as soon as the flame went out, and I cried. Then I took all my matches and lit them all at the same time, and I saw my family. There was Lucio and Cielo eating roast goose while Mom was serving it. Mom looked at me and smiled. Come with us, Estella. I'm coming, Mom. Maybe that's how everything ends. Or maybe not. I opened my eyes and looked around. I was tucked up in a comfortable bed, and the room I was in was very nice. Lucia was on a chair, looking at me. I'm glad you're okay. I was so worried. What? What happened? You collapsed from the fever and you almost froze. But I found you early. You were in a coma the whole week. Are you still mad? The past is in the past. And you won't believe it, but I found a really good job. Cielo, she helped secretly. He grabbed my hand and I gave him a weak smile. We'll be fine, Estella. We'll shine brighter than any star in the sky. I got you. We will shine brighter than any star in the sky. What you think, bro? It was good. It was good. It was good.
think she liked the burger. TurboTax Live, full service. Take well, taxes off your plate. Man, I don't think she liked that. Nah. Look, yeah, she don't like that, bro. But that wraps it up, man. You know what I'm saying? We finna record one more for y'all. You know what I'm saying? So you get, like, you know what I'm saying? Let's see. Yeah, you right. We finna record one more for y'all real quick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we'll record one more for y'all, man. So make uh, sure y'all like, like, comment, and, comment subscribe. and subscribe. No count. No count. Y'all heard what the girl said? Do I got to replay up? You know what I'm saying? Replay it real quick. I got you, bro. Y'all, well, you know what I'm saying? Straight like that. To the next video.